Um, now, the interesting thing is that it protein will elicit an insulin response, which by default will or can cause fat storage. If you were to just eat fat, you're very unlikely to store fat because there's very little to no insulin response. But protein is essential. It's the foundation to everything that is in the, in the human body. We need it to perform protein synthesis. Um, so that isn't the lever that we pull. So what I would recommend, and this is uh, purely short term, I would drop protein down to maintenance, which is around 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. Uh, and I would uh, drop the fat down as little as you can uh, and allow the body to ramp up its endogenous ketone production from stored body fat. So basically, the body can utilize fat from, from dietary fat or can utilize it from, from stored body fat. So by reducing the amount of dietary fat that we consume, we can ramp up um, body fat or lipolysis, if you like, where the body will break down stored body fat and use that for fuel. Uh, I would recommend doing this a couple of days and then going back to a normal day and then doing it again. It's um, something similar, which is protein sparing, modified fasting, which is basically eating as much protein as you like, but from a lean source. Um, this can yield similar responses, uh, both of which are protocols that I use. I do find that fluctuating between higher fat days and lower fat days is incredibly beneficial, um, or at least maintenance days. So keep the protein roughly the same and, and drop the fat. Um, this isn't advice in regards to optimal health, because I do believe the protein should be consumed with natural fats. The fats are critically important for healing and repairing and processing the amino acids as well as um, our fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. So protein should be consumed with fat generally. But for aesthetic purposes, if you're willing to or wanting to, to break that resistance and move the body fat a little bit lower, those are the, the protocols and levers that, that I would pull. Now, when you explain this to someone, they instantly think that you're in a caloric deficit and, and that's why you're losing the weight. And it's um, technically you, you are, but a calorie doesn't really exist in the context that we believe. But what we're doing simply is we are fat burners. 